Hello everybody, today we're going to recover refrigerant a little bit faster than we did last time. Remember this video here? This is the setup we had. So we have the gauges, the recovery machine, and the recovery tank. And let me show you the setup that we had. So we have the gauges, and then the red hose went to the high side, and the blue hose to the low side. And then, in the middle port, it went to the inside of the recovery machine and then out to the tank. So today we're gonna do it a little bit different. We are gonna remove all the obstructions. So we're gonna remove all these hoses and we're gonna replace them with bigger hoses without any restrictions. So don't go anywhere, I'll be right back. So we have a lot of obstructions here in the gauges. Uh, the gauges have valves and have passages through the valves, through the hoses right here. So all that are obstructions. The hoses themselves have an obstruction as well because each hose have the depressor for the core and that's an obstruction itself too. So we're gonna remove the hoses, we're gonna remove the gauges, and also we're going to remove the other hoses. So right here in the recovery machine, we have the same problem. We have the, uh, the same hoses with the depressors. So uh, we're going to remove that. We're going to remove uh, everything. Uh, let's, I'm removing the uh, hoses for the gauges. And we're going to remove all the hoses because we're going to bring bigger ones. Every time you put away your tools, uh, in this case, I have back ports, so uh, I'm gonna screw my hoses so they don't get dirty and they are ready to use for the next project. So if you don't take care of your tools, nobody is gonna do it for you. And that way you're gonna have tools for, for a good while. So these ones, we're gonna put it, uh, we're gonna put it away for now here. And we're gonna remove uh, these hose too. We're gonna remove the hoses from the tank and the recovery machine. And we're gonna get bigger hoses. For this project, we're gonna use three uh, core valve removal tools. These are, uh, this brand is uh, Appion. I like Appion because uh, they're very strong, they last forever and I haven't had any problem. Of course, you can buy any or the brand, uh, just make sure that what you buy is vacuum safe. So this is the valve we're gonna use. We're gonna remove this part for now. This is the U-shaped tool that remove the core. So this part, we're gonna close this, make sure it's closed. And then this valve has to be closed too. So now we're gonna put this guy here. And now we're gonna use this part. We're gonna push this all the way up here. And we're gonna insert it here. We're gonna screw it so it's sealed here. And now we're gonna open this valve. And then we're gonna push the shaft and we're gonna grab the core. So I'm gonna move it a little bit until I grab it, until I feel it. Then I'm gonna go counterclockwise. I'm gonna put pressure with my thumb. And I can feel this one is separating from here. So that means I grabbed it, hopefully. And then after a few turns, look at the pressure pushed it. So that means I removed it. I don't know if I grabbed it. So I'm gonna close these, these valves and, because I'm gonna remove these and no refrigerant escapes. And now we're gonna see if we got the core. And that's our core valve. So we're gonna place it here 
because it's magnetic. grab it and close this that's our core valve okay the other T we're gonna put it here in the end of the recovery machine before the filter right there so we're gonna place we have one hose and there's no cores no cores here and there's no depressor here so there's no obstructions and these are the same let me show you here there's nothing in there and there is nothing in there so so we have the blue hose in the liquid line right now the colors don't matter okay so we have the liquid the liquid line hose it goes here at the bottom of the T and then we have the uh, vapor line right here to the other side of the T and we have a short of valve here and we have a short valve there on those valves as well and then so we're gonna have a 3-8 hose or half inch on the out on the out right there to the tank right there so we have bigger hoses with no restrictions we remove the cores and we remove the depressors okay so now we have to bleed so right here we have this shot of valve here we're gonna turn it off and we're gonna bleed right here just the liquid line so we're gonna turn this valve on this is the liquid line and we're gonna bleed right here Right there and now the vapor line we're, we're gonna turn this on on vapor and then turn this one on as well and now we're gonna turn the vapor line on and we're gonna bleed over here at the tank so that's, that's enough Okay, so now we have no air whatsoever on the lines and we are ready to go. So now, one more thing, we have to uh, put our tank upside down because remember, there's another obstruction at the tank itself. There is in, on the liquid line, if we're gonna go in in the tank as liquid, if we put it on the liquid side, there is the straw thing the quarter inch tube or whatever that's another obstruction and then it has to go the refrigerant has to go there as a liquid then it has to flash and then it has to condensate again so that that takes time so we're gonna put our tank upside down and when we do that when when we have it like that upside down the liquid is gonna come through the bottom and it's gonna be on the tank right away so um, that's what we're gonna do now we're gonna zero then we're gonna make sure all our valves are open everywhere and now we're gonna start our machine and then we're gonna start with liquid first so we're gonna turn on the machine we're gonna open the valve our 
of our tank and then we're gonna open up the liquid side and then after a few minutes that the liquid has been recovered we're gonna do the vapor so number one right here number two and number three this one here and this is liquid only for now and later we're gonna do and 636 let's see how many and it already has 7.6 so it's going way faster okay after three or four minutes we're gonna turn the uh, liquid line on so now the vapor is gonna go in So it's been three minutes and it's 1.19 pounds so far. So after 14, 15 minutes, uh, the other one took 35 minutes, 40 minutes. So it's almost a third of the time. And uh, so now we're gonna turn it off and then we're gonna remove all our hoses and that's it thank you so much for watching if you like the video please like and subscribe and i remind you there's so many ways to do it you know you could do it right left here right there do it this way it's all good this is just another way to do it so uh thank you so much please like and subscribe bye bye